This next case is a case of a complex cataract uh, procedure in a patient who sustained severe injury to the eye years ago, now with uh, inferior scarring, band keratopathy, you can see calcium deposition, and uh, over four clock hours of dense anterior synechia right up against the uh, back of the cornea. I'm going to demonstrate three different types of synechiolysis here, starting initially with viscodissection, which is the most gentle, followed by blunt dissection, and even uh, a small amount of sharp dissection. So those are, those are the three different types of techniques for um, getting the iris away from the cornea here. You can see that the patient has a kind of a, a, a downward uh, drawn pupil. It's going to be impossible to completely restore everything to normal, but uh, here I'm using tripan blue to stain the anterior capsule and then uh, evacuating it using some viscoelastic and doing a, a, a small capsularexis just because my visibility is, is somewhat limited here. But I'm able to perform a complete continuous curvilinear capsularexis. And um, I'll follow this by uh, a very brief but brisk hydrodissection. Very brief because I don't want to get any more iris prolapse that I'm dealing with. There's a lot of uh, atrophic uh, iris here, and I'm trying to not make that worse. So I'm going to use a low flow state. I'm going to do a lot of cracking here. Uh, just try to keep the chamber uh, deep. Uh, One-handed technique here to reduce... Uh, uh, loss of fluid through the paracentesis and uh, you can see a little bit of a tag of iris scar. I'm not worried about that because that's not really viable tissue anyway and it's it's hard to I'll, I'll come back and get that later with a uh, with a Van Ness scissor but uh, just going here now trying to uh, to take the nucleus followed by the epinucleus and now here the cortex s starting with subincisional cortex where uh, the uh, uh, the remaining cortex can help keep that bag open. Also limited a little bit in visibility, but relying on my capsularexis and hydrodissection to uh, to uh, gain access to the uh, the remaining cortex. It's important to get a complete removal here. You don't want any uh, unwanted post-op inflammation. You're going to have that anyway with all the synechiolysis. This is a endocapsular tension ring. You can put this in with the injector. I sometimes like to put them in just manually like this. I can get a better feel as to how it's going in in case I'm not 100% sure about the bag integrity. I don't get that feedback, that sensory feedback when I'm using the injector. This is the one-piece columnar plate IOL that I'm putting in. This is a good lens uh, for this case since I'm able to, uh, uh, since the capsule seems to be pretty uh, strong and restored with the uh, with the capsular tension ring. You'll see I'm going to do a lot of tapping of the optic here to get the uh, cohesive viscoelastic out from behind the optic. This is a, a gentle tapping technique. It also kind of lets me know that the lens is well seated and secure. And because of the floppiness of the iris, I will go ahead and suture the wound with a 10 nylon suture on a on a dash four, four mil needle. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this on the knot here. Uh, then I'll go ahead and I'll try to reduce the amount of, um, uh, of um, uh, band keratopathy inferiorly. A lot of this isn't that visually significant, but I wanna, I wanna be able to clear that uh, and improve the uh, uh, comfort for the patient. Thank you.